And we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you how to create a clock wipe transition. The effect is also called radio wipe. All you need are two videos. I've got them here. Let's create an overlap. So I'll take the second one, put it on video channel 2 and position it so that we've got this overlap. But let me size that down a little bit. I guess it's too big. Uh, let me go to 50% under effect controls for scaling and now it fits. Now go to your effects panel right here and type in wipe. And we need to drag and drop the radio wipe on the top video file which is on video channel 2. Let's go to the starting position right here. If you can't find these two menus, go to Window, Effect Controls and Effects. Then start the transition completion by clicking on this clock icon. So this creates our first keyframe. Now let's select the video file at the bottom. Now we we'll go to the end position. We switch back to the top video file and create our second keyframe. Normally your first instinct may be to give this one the 100% completion and the first keyframe zero. Let us do this. And you can see we've got the radio wipe, so this clock transition, but when it's over we've got a black screen. So when you use it like this, with the video file 2 on top, you'll have to reverse it. So your first keyframe needs to have 100% and the last one zero. And now I roll the clip again, we've got our transition and afterwards we've got no black screen. This is exactly what we wanted. Another thing to keep in mind is when you layer it like this, you also have the clockwise and counterclockwise reversed. So you can pick that right here with the drop down. So let me make it counterclockwise. And now the new video file, so video channel 2, is revealed via a clockwise wipe. So you have to reverse your thinking a little bit. There's also a third option called both that opens the video file in both directions. The remaining functions, let's go over them. At first we've got the wipe center. Let us go to a wipe so that we can see it. So here's the center and I can move it around left, right, up and down with this function. By default it should be in the center. There's also the start angle, so from 0 to 360. Let me go to 100 and this would now be the first frame of this transition. Normally you want to set that to 0. And there's also a feathering option so we can feather out these edges. But normally you want to keep that at zero as well. And this is how you can create this clock wipe transition in Premiere Pro. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.